Okay. Where did I put the tape? I didn't bring the tape up. Well, poop. Oh, no, there it is. Go. Boo 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 More gray, more gray. There's a lot of gray. Gray, gray. 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 A lot of gray.
If I had Spotify with my music on and not my wife's, I'd be listening to it and sharing it with everybody. But I don't. So you just get me singing really bad. So suck it up and deal with it. You can't tell it's really windy. Oh, we're gonna put this. There. Okay, that is the gray done. catch up. Good enough. And FedEx is here.
Okay. Where were we? We were here. Put you off to the side, cut these out first. Hopefully. Damn it. I'm going to reposition this. Nope, not to there. Put it up here for now. See if this will break on this one line or both of them. Ta da! Grozers, snippers, bunk. Let's not put our stuff in the trash bucket. Try to get as much as possible off of it from around where you want. The more you cut away, the less you have to grind. Come on, there you go. <gasps> It's a bitty, bitty little spot in between something that can work, but These are the running pliers. There's a little ridge, there's a hump, and it corresponds with up here. If you line up the top of this hump, which is this line on the top, which you might be able to see. Let's see, once the camera catches up. There you go. Line that up with your cut line. Underneath, I like like how torpedo chips bubble underneath breaks the ship in half. Need to get one of those little Tupperware cups that are like that, with a sponge at the bottom. 
to the machine oil because you should keep the cutting wheel oil between eh, every four or five cuts. But I like to do it every cut. But I don't have any because it's been four years. I have zero idea where most of my stuff is. All these tools, and some others in the box still, I bought new from a website. Which I can't exactly recall offhand, but it's on the box. Anything in stained glass.com. They're in Maryland. And they seem like a mom and pop kind of place. Just from reading the website, you, you, you read the words, it's like, this is little old lady saying, okay, this is how we do things. Sweetheart, I got your order ready. And when you order, there's no set, this is how much shipping is. There's just their promise that they're going to charge you however much shipping is charging them, is costing them. And they do give email updates when the order is ready, the order is shipped. This is how much it was. And considering how difficult it is sometimes with dealing with stained glass and stained glass supplies, because sometimes if you want glass, you have to wait for it to be delivered. They don't always have everything on hand. And you have to wait for them to order it and then deli get it delivered to them, and you can, then you can either pick it up or order it from them. And They were quite quick. They were fast getting my order. Now there was no glass involved in it this time because I have so much glass left over from everything I've done that I don't need it. So it was just tools which they more than likely had all on hand. And it was still fairly damn quick. they sell the tools, they sell glass, they sell... Let's start over. They sell all the hand tools like these. They sell, the, they sell glass. They sell patterns that people allow them to send out. They sell the chemicals that you need for soldering and treating and weathering, aging the, the solder and the frame that you put around it. They sell soldering irons, they sell grinders, they sell they sell it even in beginner kits, which are re reasonable price. Like there's a major website for that does everything glass. They have magazines and everything. And they had a soldering iron for I think $180. And the same solder right now, well, not the same, but like one previous to this, one model down, was only like 60 So they're very good with their prices. I will definitely be ordering from them again. What I like most that they also sell is uh, the stand, the display stands. If someone makes a nice artwork piece, you want to display it on a, pa a table or a shelf or something. You can't put it up and it's up. You have to have a stand for it to hold it. Otherwise, it's just going to fall over and break. And 
they've got the they're cast they're all they're always cast not cast iron but wrought iron they're always iron stands to hold it because they have the glass is heavy let's be true all this glass with all the soldering and the framing is going to be heavy and they said they have those they even have the ones that go in the garden so you can make a like a sun discs sun disc sundial something like that you can put it in the garden how am I going to cut this I can't make sharp angles because this it, it, it likes straight lines or near straight so we're going to go here try to make it one single so it is a curve, but it's not that crooked. Line it up, gently squeeze. There we go. I'm going to get all these, let's just get them into pairs, it seems easy enough. There, there, and go between these two, cut them apart, you can even go with hand, Boop. pop it with your hand, you can, you can, you don't know, not with the big pieces, but something like where you can get a good grip, not actually touch the edges, because these will, will be sharp, especially after you've cut them. Get this corner off. I missed a piece of glass completely with that. Let's see if we can get this crest out. Okay, let's there we go. Almost right along the line. That one side. There we go. There we go. I'm looking back at this for 30 minutes. I'm already a lot more comfortable with the cuts I'm making now.
Ooh, it is windy! That'll work. Only broke the script piece of it. And that's just fine. Because that's what it is. Just scrap. Now the mailman's here. This one. That's gonna be short. Ow! Got me. Mm. Got myself. So, what we're going to end up doing here is pieces like these, with these deep bends in here, we're going to do that with a grinder. Over on the grinder, we'll grind inwards, and get as much of this out as possible with the fat bit that I have on there. And then, I have to find a smaller one, because this one is like that big. Let's do it without the blood. It's about that big. It's a big bit. So I'll probably only get about here. I need to find a smaller one that's only about that big around. And be able to get in there and in here. I might get all of it with this. But this one will take some, some work. Remember, this is just the gray pieces. The gray pieces for this. Hmm. So this was, what did I do here? This was, what did I cut today? All of his beard and the mustache here. That's what the gray was. I'm gonna go get a band-aid. This isn't bad, it's just a little dot. Might have even stopped already. I'm gonna put a band-aid on it. Anyway, so I'll be right back.
turns out we don't have any band-aids that I can find easily or quickly and quietly. So I don't even remember where they were. We're going to type it up. Because I'm an idiot. So, how this works is find a design you want to do. I chose this one because I like these goofy ones like this. This is in a magazine of that larger group called Delphi. This is not, I don't know if this is their magazine or not. Anyway, Glass Patterns Quarterly. This is a good magazine. All sorts of different designs in here, ideas for stained glass and for mosaics and what else do they have? I know they do stuff for fusing where you literally melt the glass together like this like this kiln with a different type of glass so I don't want any exploding my wife does it, so she's got a kiln back there in her room. She's crazy. This is designed by Sabine Myberger, I think. That's how it's pronounced. This is hers. So what you do is you get this in in the middle of, of this magazine. They have a pullout with different the different designs in it. See? So, I chose this one. Normally, you would photocopy it. My printer is not big enough to do this, take a, copy, a full size copy, so I traced it on two separate pieces of paper. Normally, you take two photocopies, you put one down on your workspace, and that's your template. You cut out your glass, and you fit, you grind it, and you start placing it. Then you fit, grind it to fit, so it all fits together nicely. Then, now, this is just an idea of the glass they use. I chose different types. Like this gray, a lot different from my gray. And my blue is probably about the same as that. So is some of the red. And then the tie dye, I've actually got that. See? This piece of glass cost $11, and that was about six years ago. See, it says it right there. That was a local shop around here where we, my wife and I actually learned how to do stained glass. So my wife is psychotic and used to go to estate sales and auctions. Thankfully, we don't go to those anymore. She bought us a, a, a grinder and a whole lot of glass and the tools, all the tools that we needed to do stained glass. She's like, we'll just figure it out along the way. I suggest we find a place that actually teaches it and then learn it, actually learn it this time. And we had a lot of fun. We made a lot of things. And now we do it from home. Or at least I'm starting to do it again from home. Um, but the second copy, you've got to have chunks like this along the lines that the pieces you can fit together. And then you cut them out. I like to use a type of metallic sharpies. That's not going to work on that one. I need a gold one for that. But. Anyway, you go along, on the edge of your piece, so when you take this to the grinder, the grinder uses water, this paper won't survive, so you'll take this off and just have an outline, so you'll have an idea of where to grind off the outline. Then you bring it back fit in the spot, see if it fits. If not, mark off a little bit more. Nope, gotta take a little bit more off here. A little bit more off here. <clears throat> Grind it again, put it back, good. And then you leave it. You do all the pieces. Then when you're done with all the pieces, you take copper tape, it's adhesive one side, it's copper on the other side, and you go all the way around the piece on this side. 
on the, the sides of it, all the way around, on every single piece. And you fit them back together again. And then you solder. You solder it all together. That copper is what helps the solder bind into it. So keep, keep it all together. It goes all the way around. You see this little piece here suggests to me that they put a ring on the two sides here. So you can hang this. Normally this won't sit by itself. It won't stand by itself. So you just hang it in a window, in a doorway, not a doorway, hang it outside, whatnot. See there's Sabine. That's Sabine right there. This is her design. And there you go. And then your piece would be done. Now a piece like this, when I when I'm in my prawn, I get all the pieces cut in a day. Probably most of them ground down, if not all of them. And then later that night, I tape them all. And then come back the next day, because you want to let the tape sit for a while. So it, it has time to adhere to this glass surface. And then you solder it all together the next day, and boom, done. Two days, one piece, done. The piece is small enough, or there aren't that many pieces, you can get two or three things done in a day. And that's, that's stained glass. And I am done for the day. I am glad that this works. It's hinky jinky because this is my life. So the house through all the concrete and machinery in the house. And that's it. with just myself. None of them. They don't deserve me. Do, 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 do. Who's live? Anybody I know live. Anybody I know Very cool. And next time I'm going to see that. Next Saturday. Really, no, 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 you should probably raise that a little bit better. You say, and then when you chop the duck, I think you just went to like a whole different. I can't confirm no ducks were harmed in the process. Shot. Of these <laughs> 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 that yes. yeah. Tabitha was out at 3 a.m. this morning. Oh, out yeah. in the field. <laughs> That's what you know. She does no harm. That's Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. No, tap the because in the place that there will be failure. Tabitha goes out killing in the morning. She's not going to If you guys don't know, she actually holds the Guinness Book World Record for the highest score on the Oregon Trail. No one got that. No, no. You, 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 take, you take Tabitha to a bar, she just goes right to Big Buck Hunt. That's it. Like, So Carl put that I didn't I didn't record that. After a while, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna piece the I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna put it up, I don't care. That's a, it's <laughs> hilarious. But I was like, I don't wanna piss off the overlords. I only have like thirty or forty videos. Oh, so out. In, my, in my video I'm putting my <laughs> Just put a guy in Arab seal of approval. <laughs> 